Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new game. It's Monday, it's a new week. I want to show you a new game. It's called Seraph. Uh, it's pretty cool. This game is a skill-based acrobatic shooter without aiming. And that, don't take it the wrong way. It doesn't make the game easier. I mean, sure, it, it adds like a little bit of casualness to it. Like you can kind of chill back and relax and you're playing it and you're pulling off all these cool moves. But at the same time, you know, the game was designed with that in mind, meaning... Uh, consequently, everything else in the game is difficult in a way to kind of balance out the fact that you're not aiming. So there are like different mechanisms. Uh, there are a lot of enemy types to worry about and, and bullet patterns and things that move very fast across the screen and things like that. But um, I will take you guys through the tutorial because there are a bunch of different dialogue lines that pertain to the story mode and I don't want you to miss it. Uh, anyway, this game is by a company called Dreadbit Games. They were awesome enough to extend a key uh, to me to show you guys on my channel. Uh, this game is officially released on the 26th, which I believe is in fact today. Wait, no, today's the 25th. Yeah, sorry. So tomorrow is going to hit... Uh, early access, it's going to be available for you guys to purchase it. I am not entirely sure how much it's going to be right now because they don't have a pricing gun on their Steam website or Steam page. But anyway, it's not entirely, like, necessarily, um, roguelike. It's, uh, kind of, you know, when you die, you lose a little bit of health from your maximum amount of health and then until you die, die. So you don't want to die, die. But if you, even if you do die, die, there are special checkpoints that you can kind of start over from instead of having to go from all the way from the beginning of the game. Now, the game, uh, I'm, I know I'm talking so much about it, but I gotta give you a little bit of introduction before I jump into it. But anyway, you, uh, you take the role of an angel who's fighting to restore her lost power and ultimately escape a prison infested with demons. Uh, I'm going to start a new game. Uh, there are a bunch of different... Uh, things and powers in play, like you have miracles that you can select and you have, let me just quickly show you, you have oaths and uh, these these are things that you can put points into and, and kind of like special gems, um, like shards and the higher the shard, the more powerful that, that um, effect is going to be and you have, you know, like as you can see at the top of the screen, it says munitions, defensive, holy, so there are a list of, there's a bunch of different things on different tiers that you can unlock, like for example, there's the Remnant protection, which damage taken by Seraph is reduced by or for three seconds after activating Miracle, which is like you'll see how awesome these things will chain and how cool they are. Uh, you also have transmutations uh, where you are able to get weapons and better weapons, and you can get uh, these wars, which are kind of like I, I, they kind of like accessory items that you don't, they're, they're passive, they add to uh, different stats, for example. Um, I know that, like, the Jasper coin has a high chance of protecting you against physical damage as well as damage from demons. Uh, and then you have miracles. Miracles are kind of like your quick powers that are assigned to, like, these quick buttons. Like, you see on the left side, the bottom left side, it says, uh, repel and orb. And if I go to those miracles, you're gonna see that there's a bit of description down here. If I... Um, press X or you can just see it right there. It says launch all enemies and projectiles away with a sudden explosive blast of holy force and orb is casts a spear of uh, light that damages enemies uh, and it comes back so you can actually dabble on double on that damage like a boomerang. Um, anyway, another cool game, cool feature that the game has is called the Twitch mode and in this Twitch mode you can actually have your uh, Twitch viewers, if you're playing this over on Twitch, you can have them vote on what kind of gameplay you're going to be doing next, which is pretty cool. But I'm going to do a standard run right now. Uh, we're going to start it at least. Um, and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the different cool things you can do, but the tutorial is going to mostly take care of that. Um, it's really cool. It's really fluid. It's very responsive. I really enjoy it. It is it is challenging. It's not... Oh... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 we need to go and do a brand new game. Uh, we're not going to disable tutorial levels, and we're gonna go right now. Okay. Um, anyway, the really cool thing about the game is that you 
you're constantly given things to do. Like you're constantly given exp uh, experience and you're rewarded for a little bit of uh, uh, scavenging. Like you're, you, if you go around the levels and try to find all the hidden experience points, there's probably a higher chance that you can level up a little quicker. And the powers, they carry on with you through different different playthroughs so you don't lose them so basically you release from this capsule right what what has happened here or i should be like what what has happened here oh my gosh just woke up. my cards are dead i can no longer feel their presence i am so weakened steal yourself my sibling it is time to escape this place who are you you're not like the others. You're not human. My name is Guide, and I have come to give you aid. You're like me, yet you only come to assist me now? I have been a prisoner for over three decades, and only now you do offer assistance? We may discuss this later, but at the moment you must make efforts to arm yourself. Demons are coming for you, prisoner, and they are not your allies. Demons? On a mortal plane? Impossible! It has been forbidden. Impossible or not, it has happened. The Termini forces have materialized here and they are coming for you. You require weapons. Your deceased guards no longer have need for them. Oh, oh my knees are dead. Where is this gun? Ooh, sweet. Wait, hold on. I need a second one. One's not enough. What is this? Is this a second gun? What? I have two guns now. Oh my god. It's great, yeah, Kung Fu. So we use the left stick to move around and we use A to jump and you can double jump and then you have a little uh, blink ability with, with, with the left trigger. So if you look at the top left corner of the screen, you see where it says LT with two bars. That's the number of times that I can teleport like that. And while I'm doing the blink, I'm totally invincible. And then on top, you see two of these little like spiky things like that look like arrow down into my health bar. Uh, those are basically the number of times that I'm allowed to die, I believe. I've never gotten to a point where I was completely screwed over by by mortality or, you know, my, my HP and the enemies. Uh, mind you, I'm, I'm playing the game on the lowest and easiest difficulty being normal. Uh, there are three higher difficulties. Uh, and now you can see it says use the right trigger to fire your weapons. And you can actually kind of, you know, strafe at the same time as you're firing them. And it's auto aim to the closest enemy, but uh, you have the ability and you're locked into the room by the way. So the door's closed behind you, you can't just like run away. Um, the You have the ability to kind of influence what enemy you're, you're aiming. And there are times that you actually encourage to do, uh, to select who you're going to be firing on. Uh, before you even start firing with the with the right stick, and I'll show you guys. Uh, there are also little chests and crates and things like that that can add to your um, health. Like you might come across health points, you might come across extra um, ammunition, I believe, as well as experience. You just have right bumper to open it, uh, and then you move on. And you have wall jump, so you can actually slide off of walls, and you can also just keep climbing them. Uh, surprisingly, in most games when you when they tell you to wall jump they have you jump from one wall to the uh, opposite to climb but in this game that actually you're supposed to and the most efficient way to wall climb is to climb on the same wall but just going up of it um demons have butchered the crew here i do not understand i was always told that determined i could not exist on the plane of reality without the assistance of one of our kind did you do this guide to rescue me no, I did not. You did this yourself. Impossible. Never. I would not. I could not. Don't feel so drained, sibling. Don't you feel so drained, sibling? If you are only a fraction of... Wait. As if you're only the fraction of your former self? It took a considerable portion of your essence to manifest the term I hear. Such a phenomenal summoning is not without considerable cause. I have no reason to lie. You are the reason I am here. Very well. All right. So uh, these things are called motes, and the motes actually are those experience points, basically. Um, this is a very basic level, which is for tutorial. I'm just gonna try to, you know, go through it as fast as I can. Uh, I am exhausted. Why is this that I? 
Why is it that I cannot remember anything of recent days? My thoughts feel so clouded. You are weak from the summoning, although you can reclaim your lost essence through the demise of each demon. The more of your essence you are able to retrieve, the more likely it is you'll return or survive the return journey to origin. Survive the journey? I can't go home unless I regain my essence? No. If you leave your human vessel before full strength, you will likely be trapped in this plane, unable to take a new vessel and unable to return home. What? Bogus. Ah. Uh, oh. So as you can see, it says impossible for you to die during this tutorial. However, if you die during this, the, the main game, Seraph will reincarnate at the entrance to the level. Uh, but you'll have slightly less HP. Uh, now, the blinking tutorial is uh, kind of devious because you might miss this chest under here. This is not a f like a fall to your death kind of pit. Uh, and then you can, you can blink and... Uh, the cool thing is that uh, these railings that look hollow, you can't go through them. There's no way to go through them. You can't go down or up through them. And I'll demonstrate if I can by doing this. See, there's uh, there's no way. There's no way I can... Wait. I can't... Yeah, they block your jump, but they don't block your bullets, so you can fire through them. Um... Now, the, the, it, it looks like I have a lot of HP when it says 300, but as you saw, one enemy hit actually deals like 50 damage, and this is the minimum because you need a, uh, the, like the, the simple enemies in the game. Um, so you need to be careful, you need to dodge to the best of your ability, and you need to actually blink. Uh, did I did I read some of these abominations? Why would I help them? I believe you've grown tired of your incarnation here, and they offered you a means of escape. Many would not blame you. But you do? I have no opinion on the matter. My goal is to allow you to use safe passage from this place to return you to your rightful home. Alright, and for that to occur, I need to leave my human vessel, which cannot happen whilst I, be I am below full strength. Whew. I must destroy more demons and reclaim my essence? Correct. Ending this demonic incursion through violence is your only option. Very well. Um, anyway, uh, another thing that I wanted to say was that when you're shooting, you are slowed down. So a lot of times what you can do is shoot and then try to retreat and then shoot again. But anyway, let's open this door. See, like, I can shoot and then run away and shoot. Well you need to do that simple scenario right uh, it can also shoot while mid-air so if you just hold down the right trigger you keep shooting and now the tutorial is teaching you that you can actually aim on a particular or aim at a particular enemy by using the stick and you can release your auto aim if you if you click the right trigger uh, not the right trigger I mean if you click the right stick analog stick this is the way out, I can feel it, but it is sealed shut with a corrupt marker of some kind. Ah, yes, this place is now home to several lieutenants of Terminus. They hold the largest portion of your essence within them, and thus must be vanquished for you to finally return home. They also hold the keys to these demonic seals. Exercise the Termini, Lieutenant. Break the seal. I understand. Very good, very good. I understand as well. I hope you guys understand too. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna go do what, what we gotta and kill the lieutenant who's not that tough and and then we're gonna be able to get out of here and maybe I can actually show you another level after this tutorial level so you guys get a better idea of how this game is but trust me, it, it, it catches you off guard and plus you have to use smite which is one of her miracles and smite normally doesn't deal any damage to monsters or these demons but what happens is that when you're fighting the tougher ones like him, like the lieutenants at least uh, you, every, every health bar that you take away from them you have to go and, and try to smite them Otherwise, they get revived with that health bar intact. Like, let me just show you if I don't do anything here. Just not doing it. Not doing it. Oh, hello. So, yeah. When you're surrounded by multiple enemies that have this going on for them, it gets a little tough. Vile, wretched creature. The kind should never have been allowed to exist here. I shall vanquish them 
all in his name. The seal is broken. Return to the return to the way you came and make good your escape. <laughs> it's it's a really fun game. Trust me. Um, I do believe that my miracles and the things that I unlocked and the, what I put shards into, I think they are remaining the way they are. I don't think from new game to new game you'd lose them. I have been in this location before, although it was some years ago and not long, long after this prison was built for me. I was being transferred. I can feel the presence of another demon lieutenant. You must find it and destroy it. Alright. So these lockers sometimes offer you new weapons and sometimes offer you uh, ammunition. And uh, now I have a submachine gun, Mark 1. And the submachine gun has a pretty high accuracy and a pretty high damage. And maybe I can actually increase... Wait, I can't change audio here. Oh, that's fine. You know what? I can increase the audio a little bit from my system volume. I feel like maybe it's just a little too low. This might be slightly better. I don't want it to be too loud either. Alright. Just want you guys to have a faint idea of what the sound effects are like. Like, for example, the machine gun. Uh, so the submachine gun is one of my favorite ones. There's also like an assault rifle that you can get, which has uh, higher damage, but like absolute garbage accuracy. Um, and not, not that the levels are open world but you have the ability to kind of stray off of the main path and you can find extra ammunition extra guns and uh extra treasures and things like that so for example we see that objective arrow is telling me to go in that direction well i can actually it's, it's in my best interest to not do that and instead spend quite a, a bunch of time on just random exploration and finding these uh bits of extra uh, experience points and motes, I should say. And it's a better idea to switch over back to your normal weapon instead of your uh, s uh, stronger weapon. You can use your, you can keep your stronger weapons ammunition for when you go face the lieutenant on the level or the boss on the level. Uh, so I kind of, you know, with right trigger, if you tap it, you go through the. If you see, if you look in the bottom uh, right corner of the screen, you can see that I'm switching between my pistol and my submachine gun. So I'm just gonna go to my pistol because it's not. My dual pistols are not that weak, actually. They can take care of a lot of enemies, at least these uh, basic forms. And um, let me just see what else is uh, over here. Nothing else. All right, we're good to. Oops. Sometimes some of those walls are hard to see, and I think they're intentionally done like that so you can get stuck. Um, and then enemies come and bash your face. All right, so we're going up this way. So I don't know where he went, but I do want to go after him, if I can. Wait, this was the entrance, alright. I don't want to leave any amount of experience behind, because uh, they're all significant. Yeah, that's a lot of experience, 700 experience points. And level 1 to level 2, they all matter. You, you, you'd be surprised. You don't level up that, that quickly, actually. It's not like a Final Fantasy style level up where you go like level 1 and then like after one one battle, your whole party goes like leveling 4 times. And It's not like that at all. It's more like you need to do a couple of missions before you have a chance at leveling to level 2 from level 1. And there's a tougher guy. He's going to fire these uh, fireballs, shoot those fireballs at me. They are... Normal damage fireballs, they're not that anything crazy. Um, however, he has a lot of health, and things can get hairy if I get surrounded by a bunch of those smaller enemies and then this guy. And let's smite him, there we go. That's nice, that's nice. Pretty awesome animations, pretty pretty fluid. Uh, just, just keep in mind that this game is still in early access. It's, it's, uh, it's very much a work in progress, and uh, that's also kind of evident by when you go to um, the upgrades menu and the oath, oaths menu. There are a couple of different options that actually encourage you not to put points into them because they are not. Um, 
incorporated into the game yet. So it says, you know, not not in the game yet. Don't waste your points. Don't put your points into it because it hasn't been put into the game. But I'm excited to just play uh, whatever is available right now. And I do want to get this content out to you guys as soon as I can, as fast as I can. So uh, today's Monday. It's Monday afternoon. And I wanted this to be out one day at Monday afternoon. And uh, let's see, what is this? So I can actually switch to the Assault Rifle Mark 1, just so you guys can uh, see how it is. Um, as you can see, it's going to have lower accuracy, but higher penetra penetration. Uh, and a little bit less rate of fire. Damage-wise, they're kind of the same. But here's the thing. I will get more ammunition with it, so I'm going to take it. So instead of having 80 with a submachine gun, I can walk away with 150, 160 almost. Uh, and it's it comes in handy, you know, like I said, you don't want to use it necessarily on the basic enemies like these guys um, And you want to save it for the tougher guys, but it's definitely better to have more ammunition for shizzle Alright, let's go. I'll do one more level for you guys This is truly a terrible place humans are capable of crafting such suffering. I do not blame you for losing your faith I did not lose my faith. How can you suggest such a thing? No, something else must have caused this demonic incursion. Sibling, demons can only be allowed to manifest on the plane of reality with the assistance of one of our kind. You know this. No, you are wrong. There must be another way. A way that neither you or I are aware of. We'll see. We'll see. All right, moving on. So, here's a little bit of uh, information on the level we cleared. Uh, we retrieved a shard, I believe, uh, which I can actually put into a brand new uh, low tier transmutation. Um, it tells us the clear time, it tells us how much of everything available we collected, as well as accuracy, which I wouldn't really take that seriously because you'll see that the assault rifle Mark One is horrible at accuracy, so you're bound to miss anyway. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna continue. We can actually view the current blessings we have done. <laughs> so these blessings kind of add like risk of rain style uh, benefits to your character. Let's see what it says. Primary weapons are taken from weapon lockers throughout the. the Yep, 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 I know all that stuff. Very well. Where is everyone? Where are the guards? The wretched pilgrims who would visit me and revel in my misery? Gone! Consumed by in the uh, incursion! Many of them are now inhabited by demonic souls, twisted and deformed. You have surely felt their presence trapped within your foes? I... I have felt this, yes fitting in for them for them all for them all hunt down and kill the champion demon of terminus all right so see it says go up and i'm just gonna say Haha, no actually i'm just gonna go down first yeah and so this is this is one of the things i was talking about is the fact that you can shoot through these railings except this guy's being acting like a goof not that i need to be so so careful about this one dude because these guys are nothing Nothing, I tell you, these guys have nothing on me. And sometimes you have chests hidden behind these uh, ooh, pillars. So it's always good to slowly walk around and, and see what's going on. Joy. Alright. I got I got tainted blood. I don't know what that is. This is a switch. Uh, I'm not going to use it yet because I don't know what it does. So let me... Uh, Get all the stuff from up here. Oh shit. So here, if I use the right trigger, I can actually like kind of focus on him. And if I click it away, it takes the focus off. So I can focus on this guy or that guy. You see the arrow on top of their head? This guy. Or that guy. Oh shit. Alright. The <laughs> demonstration over because I'm gonna die. Okay, pop this. Get the stuff. We got some health out of that chest, which is awesome. Use a switch. Oh god. Oh god. See, this is what I'm talking about. Alright, we gotta switch to this assault rifle. Okay. Not doing too bad. Not not too shabby. 
So you saw that I lost a bunch of HP, but they're they're also iframes once you get hit. So it's it's, it's not that horrible of a of a deal if you get hit a couple of times, because uh, you can you can be in that crowd and and kind of ooh, I got that special checkpoint. You can be within like a like a pretty dense crowd, and if they all shoot at you and one of them hits you, you can take advantage of that iframe that you have. Double damage activated. Ooh, very good. Well, I gotta get all this stuff too. Yep, I got ammo. This buff is going down fast. I have a lot of ammo for my for my assault rifle. But if if this buff goes away, I'm gonna be so sad that I didn't get to use. Ah! Oof, so good. So good. Oh yeah, this is so good. Oh shit. Gotta be careful. Gotta smite them so they don't come back to life. Nope, oh, focus on that guy. There we go. So that's the, this is the aiming that, that really helps. Oh, that guy's behind closed doors. I wasted so much ammunition thinking I can get him. Shit, 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 shit. Yep, I'm taking uh, a lot of damage here. Not very happy about that. Whoa. Cool it, buddy. Cool it. Alright. So until the sector lockdown happens, they're gonna think there's gonna be infinite number of spawns that I can deal with here. Or get to a checkpoint of some sort. Jesus Christ. I might actually die here. But no. There's no way. Oh, my God. oh shit, that guy came by. Oh shit, maybe I will die. Oh, I can't believe it. I was going for that smite. Alright, so my HP is reduced. I'm not going to go as far as saying that I intentionally died, because I didn't. But we can pretend like I intentionally died so you guys can see what happens after death. With with the lowered maximum HP count. Oh, my assault rifle is empty still. I mean, why did I think it wouldn't be empty? <laughs> Nothing's changed. I thought maybe if you come back to life, you get like a tiny bit of uh, minimum HP back, or not HP, I mean ammo back. Really? You're gonna corner me here? No. Yeah, this is what I need to do. Just grab the treasure from here, or the stuff, the moat. Let's just use the, let's use the right terminology, right? Okay. That's some, that's some good shit right there. Right there! That's some good shit. Ooh! Yep. Good shit. Again. Assault rifle ammo. I would not mind using it against this guy. Did he heal? What the hell, dude? Ah. Uh, I wasted my, my orb. Get away from me. Oh, yeah. Get him. Okay, orb him. Good shit. Oh, yeah. Done, son. Oh, shit. That's right. Okay. So I can exit, but I'm not going to because we have we have some other things to, to grab here. I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's more stuff. All right. So that's a little bit of that. I think there's a... Uh, there might be some other things. Yep, over there. Don't want to leave those behind. And enemies. Smiteable enemies. Smite you, bitch. Up, oh, up. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Sneaky, sneaky little moat orbs. Anything else? Yeah, that door just opened. Let's let's go and check out what's over there. There's also a little bit of a ledge grab, as you saw. Nice, 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 nice. All right, now let's go toward the exit. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh, ooh, good. Uh, are you serious? Come on, come on. Be cool, be cool, be cool. <laughs> this 
Seriously? Alright, I gotta wait for both of them to come back. There we go, that's much better. <laughs> Alright, let's see. With each shard, I could like have my strength return. Indeed, but you have a long way to go yet, sibling. Push onwards. Alright guys, I'm gonna call it an episode here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up on the video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe for more videos in the future. Uh, so here's a little sample page of what we get when we level up. So we actually gained a level which increased our maximum HE by, by 25, which is pretty good. Uh, additionally, we can actually get a blessing, and uh, Bloodlust gives us a uh, damage boost for a while, and it stacks five times. Uh, Touch of Mortality gives us uh, an, an ability to deal 100 holy damage to um, demons that we smite. So if you remember when, when we were smiting those multi-HP segmented enemies, uh, every time we smite them, we also deal a little bit of extra damage toward the next point that we have to smite them you know what i mean uh and then we have bless air which means when we double jump we deal uh 50 holy damage to uh surrounding demons or demons nearby and there's the healing exorcism which is one of my favorite which smite attacks can regenerate um smite attacks on regenerating demons will heal sarah for five percent uh but for now i'm actually gonna take bloodlust because we're going to run into rooms where we're going to be surrounded by a lot of enemies. So getting a couple of kills really makes a difference in the end as far as uh, survival and dealing extra damage. So we acquired that blessing. And each blessing, as you can see, has multiple levels. So that's like the level 1 out of 5. And uh, anyway, yeah. If you liked it, if you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up, please. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe for more videos of Seraph in the future. And just generally be in touch with my channel. And... Um, like I said, I'm going to put a link in the description for you guys down below. It's a really fun game. I highly recommend it. I've been playing it for over a couple of hours now. I'm really enjoying it. And um, uh, it's coming out. It's being released into early access tomorrow. And yeah, keep an eye on it. On it. Keep an eye out for it. Thank you for your time and attention. And I'll see you guys later.